Hi, I'm Karen Ross, Secretary of the California Department of Food and Agriculture, and today, March 8th, is International Women's Day. I'm thrilled to be spending a couple minutes with you as a reminder of how important women are in agriculture. The United Nations was the one that started this campaign on an annual basis, and this year, their theme is Invest in Women, Accelerate Change. Closer to home, it's about inspiring inclusion. And women have always been an important part of agriculture from the beginning of time. But it's only been in recent history that we actually, through the agricultural census that's done every five years by USDA, that we started counting women in a more intentional way as part of the producing part of agriculture. We know that in this country, about 40% of the women in, are in farming as farm owners. Um, control of, of a number of assets, including the land rights, but one of the biggest barriers for women in agriculture is access to land and access to financing. Here, closer to home, I think about the role of women that I know and have known for my decades here in California agriculture, who have always been there, not only in making production decisions, but all of those jobs that make up the inputs and the value added in agriculture. It's such a wide array, about half of our workforce is women. When we think about all of those jobs in agriculture and about a third of our farm workers are females. When we think about that hard work in our orchards and our vineyards and in our fields. So it's clear that women are a part of production agriculture, but they're a bigger part of all of agriculture. I want to call in particular women in the role as advocates or in banking. Um, here at the Department of Food and Agriculture, I like to brag about women leaders in agriculture here at CDFA. My undersecretary and three of the deputies are female and five of our division directors are women. They're doing an incredible job working collaboratively across our agency and with our stakeholders and industry. I also want to point out that 23, that's almost half of our county agricultural commissioners are women. So when I think about Inspire Inclusion, I think that those of us who are fortunate to serve in these very public positions are the ones that need to remind the rest of our public how important women are in agriculture. Because I know from where I grew up on a farm in western Nebraska, the moms, the sisters, the granddaughters, have always been part of agriculture, but not acknowledged for their role. They were the ones that kept the books or maybe assisted with marketing. And it's time for us to recognize the important role of women in agriculture in all the ways that we serve in agriculture. And pause today and say to our favorite women in ag, happy International Women's Day, March 8th, 2024.